five right on the nose. Thieves are turning car parts into cash around Northeast Ohio. In the first three months of this year, policing Cleveland, Twinsburg, North Olmsted, as well as Brooklyn Heights, they all reported multiple thefts. And Mike Painesville had one stolen as well. And in Mentor, police tell us 18 have been taken this year. But in Lorraine, it is clear this is a growing problem. So far in 2021, people have reported 54 converter thefts. Last year it was 21. And in 2019, only three vanished, so we want to know why are they being taken and can you stop it from happening? John Rudder joins us this morning with how the thefts can be prevented. Hey, good morning, Danita. Well, those cars are part of your, or those converters are part of your car's exhaust system working as an anti-pollution device, and you'll know that yours have been taken from the sound. Uh, they call, they say, I think I need a muffler, I have loud exhaust. I just came out of my house, started my Prius, and it roared. Oftentimes, it's not a missing muffler, but a carried-off catalytic converter behind the loud exhaust. They're made from valuable metals like rhodium, with just an ounce, worth about $28,000 right now. And it can take just seconds for thieves to remove the converter from your ride. Real quick cut right here with the reciprocating saw to turn a quick profit. Some of these converters have a scrap value in excess of $1,000. Worth $1,000 in scrap metal, but costing you up to three grand to replace. Though for a few hundred bucks, you can keep the converter crooks at bay with a metal guard. It's, uh, it's fastened in place to deter a thief from being able to get to that catalytic converter. Converters in hybrid vehicles are targeted because they contain the largest amount of the expensive metals. Now, Ohio does have laws in place to try and fight this, uh, like only allowing a one converter per person per day to be sold to a scrap metal dealer. Now, John, if police recover one that they believe is stolen, can it be returned to the owner? Well, chances are no, because those catalytic converters don't have an identification number, so they are very hard to trace. Some law enforcement agencies, though, are suggesting you to etch your VIN number or your driver's license number into them as a precaution. In Colorado, mechanics are also adding serial numbers to track in a statewide database. Mm, such a frustrating problem, I know, for those who have had them taken. Thank you so much, John.